Today on Ham Radio Q&A, searching for used amateur radio gear. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9DBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for joining me on these little amateur radio adventures. A viewer on YouTube submitted the following question. There has, there has got to be good used equipment out there. I mean, people always want something new, so where do I find good used equipment? That's a great question. Well, there is a robust market for used amateur radio equipment out there. The challenge is finding quality equipment at a good value. Uh, your most reputable sources for used equipment are going to be amateur radio dealers and, say, fellow club members in your amateur radio club or group. Uh, next up is going to be uh, ham fest, swap fest, uh, amateur radio auctions. And then uh, on the bottom of the list are going to be online sites like uh, eBay, QRZ, or Craigslist. Uh, with the used equipment, it's always buyer beware. So uh, know what you're looking for, know, um, know the value, and also any uh, problems or pitfalls you may run into with a piece of equipment. Now, I don't want to scare anybody off the used market. Uh, there's, plenty of, there's plenty of diamonds in the rough, lots of good, lots of good stuff out there, and, and very, very many... Uh, good and reputable dealers and private individuals selling used equipment. But, you know, the purpose of this video is to give you the tools so that you can shop intelligently and make informed decisions. So if you're relatively new in the hobby, uh, the first thing you should do is talk to a fellow ham and get their impressions on a piece of equipment that you're looking to buy. Uh, they may have used it in the past or have some experience with it or something similar, and they'll be able to tell you of, of, of its function, its operation, and any any potential problems you may run into. Also, having a, that second set of eyes is great when uh, inspecting used equipment. Uh, they might be able to spot something that you may not in the, in the condition or operation of, of that piece of, uh, piece of gear. Uh, next, the most important thing is assessing the value or the price the item should be sold for. Uh, the, one of the things I like to do is to go online uh, to some of the online uh, sale forums and also use the eBay's a completed item search to, uh, to assess the value of, of the item on, on the open market. Another great resource is uh, Universal Radio. It's a retailer out of Ohio, but they've got a great catalog of, a used, of, of used equipment and also uh, discontinued items on their website. So you can search through that and kind of get, a, get an idea of the uh, market value and also uh, where, you know, its, its features and capabilities of that piece of used equipment. Are you a member of the ARRL? If not, this is a great reason to join. Uh, you'll, you can go online and search the uh, QST Magazine's uh, product reviews for the item you're looking for, and you'll be able to get a detailed analysis of its features, functions, and capabilities. Plus, you'll also see the uh, retail price of it when it was first introduced. With a little bit of online research, you're going to be able to establish a baseline value of the item and help make an informed decision if the, uh, if the selling price is, is worth it. So how do you find good used equipment? Well, it takes patience, diligence, and a keen eye. And also, my best deals always seem to be items that I've stumbled upon than things that I've been actively searching and wishing for that that piece of equipment is the one. So here's a few tips on looking out for good used equipment. Look everywhere. Not only keep an eye out on online forums and uh, sites like Craigslist or eBay, but also watch garage sales, estate sales, and um, flea markets. I've seen radio equipment show up in all, all three of those venues. You know, but one, one uh, caveat when searching uh, in a non-standard venue for amateur radio gear is, you know, this is, this is totally buyer beware, and the people selling it may not have any idea of the true value, worth, or condition of a piece of item. So uh, move forward in that with a very critical eye. Find your community. Your local amateur radio club is a great resource for buying used amateur radio equipment. Put out a general inquiry within uh, the club membership. Maybe somebody's got something for sale. Listen uh, to the uh, swap nets on the uh, local repeaters. And also, uh, get to know some of the amateurs outside of your area. Who knows, something may pop up. Well, just last week I received an email from a ham that was downsizing and had lots of interesting items for sale. Be chatty. Strike up a conversation with the person that's selling the equipment. Get to know them a little bit, uh, how they used it, how long they've had the piece, had the item, um, its condition, its uh, what they think the value is, if, if there's anything wrong with it. 
uh, talking with the person sometimes is going to, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of fish out those uh, little bits of information that'll help you make that informed decision if that item is is worth the asking price that the seller is is put out there. Also, sometimes, you know, with, with striking up that conversation, you may run into something else that the person may have for sale that but didn't initially uh, list it or offer it. Inspect carefully. This goes without saying. Check it for operation and function. Uh, look for wear and tear. Inspect it for cleanliness and give it the sniff test. Uh, this I like to check uh, to see if the previous item was a smoker. Also, if you've got the ability to power it up and uh, put it on the air, I'll always do so. And finally, negotiate. Some people are pretty set on their pricing, while others will have some flexibility. Knowing the value of a piece of equipment is going to be very helpful in assessing if there's some wiggle room. If you're not sure of the value or the flexibility of the seller, you can always take this tactic. Ask them, will you entertain a potentially insulting offer? Who knows? People are, are curious and they might listen to you. Shopping for used equipment can be challenging and rewarding in its own right. It's a lot like catching rare D DX. It takes patience and a bit of skill. So do you have any tips on shopping for used amateur radio gear? Please leave them in the, in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Also, uh, make sure you check out this video description because there's going to be links and resources for finding used amateur radio gear. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Well, that's it for this episode of Ham Radio q and I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, 73.